motivating workers non-financially. This method is done by giving workers non-financial rewards and job satisfaction. In addition to financial rewards, firms may give workers non-financial rewards to keep them stay and increase their motivation. Non-financial rewards, or also known as perks or fringe benefits, include company vehicle, discounts on the firm's products, healthcare paid for, children's education paid for, free accommodation, share options, generous expense accounts, pension paid for, and free trips abroad, or holidays. The rewards vary according to the seniority of the job. For example, factory workers may get discounts on the firm's products, whereas, a senior manager may have several non-financial rewards, such as a house, a car, and an expense account. Job satisfaction can be given through job rotation, job enlargement, job enrichment, and team working. Job rotation. This method involves workers swapping around and doing each specific task for only a limited time, and then changing again. By this way, workers may not get bored with their job, and so uh, enjoy it. Managers can also easily move workers around the factory, if people are sick and their jobs need recovering. However, this method increases training requirements to enable workers to perform different tasks. Quality of output may be lower if less specialized workers are in tasks. More mistakes can occur, which results in low efficiency. Job rotation also means that sometimes, workers do jobs they don't like. This is demotivating. This method may only be motivating in the short term, until workers get used to the new tasks. The actual tasks may still be monotonous. Job enlargement. Job enlargement is where extra tasks of a similar level of work are added to a worker's job description. This way gives greater variety to the work, and therefore, increases job satisfaction. However, workers may not feel able to carry out the additional tasks. So, they may not want extra responsibility. Job enrichment. Job enrichment involves looking at jobs and adding tasks that require more skill and or responsibility. Additional training may be necessary to enable workers to take on extra tasks. For example, a receptionist was initially employed to greet customers. Now, she also word processes letters, deals with telephone inquiries, and takes order. Team working. Team working is where a group of workers is given responsibility for a particular process, product, or development. They can decide as a group how to complete the tasks or organize the jobs. The workers can become more involved in the decision making and take responsibility for this process. This gives a feeling of control over the jobs or tasks, and the workers feel more committed. Therefore, increasing job satisfaction.